is Herr Asberger welcoming the Renewy Tour for stage three. And these are the seven riders. Turner's to make his second attack, and he's going to be chased by Lombard, Vermeers, Wright, Hirschi, Wellens, and Zangler. Or is he? Because he's stolen a march here. A look round from Lombard. Nobody wanted to go. They all look back. And this is a big moment now because it's a right turn. And then into the Flam Rouge, the last kilometre for Mike Turnesser to try and take victory. Yep, second time lucky here. And it could be a, a winner for him. It depends on the, the effort here. I think Tim Wellens has taken off now. Hershey seems really strong, but... Tim Wellens has to, to commit now to this one, and he isn't. He's uh, looking at the other kind of GC contenders. He wants this race lead. Mike Turner sir, has not won at this level, the very top level of Scythe in the World Tour, since he won that bunch sprint in Brussels at the Tour de France. He's going uphill here through the centre now of Herr Asperger, onto the first cobbles. The city centre stuff, this. It's the clinkers, not the big ones. And he's on his way up to the Vesta. He'll pass the cafes, the crowds, and unless they can launch a real assault here, he's on his way to something special. But there is a move now. And this is Hirschi going after Mike Turnesser. Turnesser, who goes around on the right-hand side. He's not far now from the finish line. But it'll start to come in view as he goes past the Renko Evenepoel fan club on the left-hand side. 250 metres to go down to 200 now. And in the chase still... Mark Hirschi. It's all about Mike Turner, though, who's inside 175 metres to the line. Looks back, sees a gap, and has to go. Zangler launches his own move. Tim Wellens is going to try and that, take that overall general classification jersey. And behind, they're not too far at all. But it's the agonising last few metres now for Mike Turner of Andermarché. Looking to try and return to the big time. Looking to try and focus and secure another win. Mike Turnison took his time, made his move, and has won at the very top level for the first time in four years. Mike Turnison is back. He takes the win. Tim Wellers hangs on and takes the overall general classification lead. It's Turnison at the foot of the moon on the Renewy Tour. To keep it going all the way to the finish, but he looks strong. I think you mentioned that, he, you know, in this type of finish, you would think that he's, he has to be one of the favourites, but... When your legs are hurting, you know, you think to yourself, well, there might be some stronger riders in here than me, so I'm going to take that opportunity. Sometimes you do save everything for the finish, and sometimes you just think, sorry, I'm just going to try. Spent Zangler, um, I have to say, he was really strong, but look at Tim Wellens. He's just sitting down, powering away, he comes past, and he was close than um, to innocent, but... You know, just the effort, that soft tyre, he's, he's done tremendously well here and uh, takes second, probably the same time there, and takes six second bonus, which add to the, the eight he's already got. It's amazing, he, he trailed by 14 seconds today, and Tim Wellens has taken in bonus seconds the gap back, and then whatever he's put in the Josh Tarling and company behind is his lead. So Wellens in bonus seconds on a flat front tyre has taken them back. And he but is the new Lee. leader. The Lee's coming off the finish sprinting like a man possessed, and I think he comes by Fred right there. Um, incredible stage. I, I did say it was going to be exciting, and you know, a nice winner there uh, with the Tennyson, um, new new race leader. But thankfully, there's no huge time gaps, and it's still fairly close, and still anybody's race in the end. A big smile from Mike Tennyson who wins stage three of the Renewy Tour.